Thank you very much. And the sun's shining as well. Everything's going to plan, I'm sure. Uh, can I, on behalf of Plaid Cymru, just extend our support to your actions? Um, you know, as far as we're concerned, pensions aren't some sort of optional extra. Um, they're deferred wages, aren't they? That's, that's yes. what they are, they're deferred wages. Yes. Employees paying, yeah. employers paying. And for an employer to turn around and say, actually, we might not be able to pay the wages that we promised you in future, is wholly unacceptable. And you're perfectly within your right to make the stand, and the very successful stand, clearly, that you are making now and will make, I'm sure, in the weeks yeah. and months to come. And we've all seen the figures about the 20 to 40 percent reduction in the value of pensions, the 10,000 pound a year potentially that lecturers will lose. I was speaking to a lecturer uh, at the rally in Bangor last week by the UC who was telling me that when she started in 2010, her projected pension was 24,000 pound a year. That had already been cut twice to 15,000 pound, and this latest yeah. projection yeah. Yeah. was coming in at around 9,000 pound. Yeah. Now, who in the right mind yeah. would stand by the body and just let that happen? Nobody. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. And one of the calculations that she, she saw suggested that that was akin to a 19% cut in her wage or working for 13 years without pay at the current level of pay. Yes. And the Vice Chancellor thought that would be okay. Shame. Well, I think they're hearing your message, I think they're hearing our message and hopefully the actions that you have taken is testament to the fact that now they're coming to their senses. The whole evaluation system has been rubbished by so many people but the question is, and yeah, quite rightly, some of the vice chancellors were coming out in support of re-evaluation uh, a few days ago. Strike. But where have they been until now? Yes. Yeah. Well, if it wasn't for your actions, we'd still probably be in the same place. Yeah, exactly. Hello, Colin. Hello, Colin. Hello, Colin. <laughs> so there are big questions about the assumptions, Eames. Of course there are, uh, to, to project the deficit. There are big, big questions as well, I'd say, about the institutional structure and the way that the uh, university superannuation scheme is governed. Uh, and that needs to be uh, investigated and that needs to be reformed. And as well, I think we need uh, 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 to answer some wider questions about the governance of Universities UK. Yes. In all this as well. yes. Why, yes. why should they take freedom of information requests yes. to understand that some of the questionnaires returned didn't? represent the, uh, the, the authorised view of these institutions, yeah. individuals yeah, yeah. dictating yeah. this process. Mm. Wholly wrong, wholly uh, reprehensible, and that, at the very least, needs to change in future if we are to take any lessons yeah. from it. Yeah. And finally, there's a moral issue at stake here as well. Vice-Chancellors enjoy astronomical, fantastical salaries. Yeah. Salaries that put the First Minister's salary, the Prime Minister's <laughs> salary and most of the public sector salaries in the shade. Yeah. Yet yeah. they preside over this attack on ordinary workers within their institutions, lecturers who are the beating heart of the academic excellence of the institutions that they lead. Yeah. We should never suffer these kinds of attacks on our workers. Yeah. 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 Plaid Cymru is committed to a properly funded higher education system and that's reflected in the tens of millions of pounds of additional funding that we've levered from Welsh Government in our budget negotiations to support the sector. We stand with you in the fight against austerity. We stand with you in the fight to protect frontline services at the very time those frontline services are most needed yeah, yeah. given the Westminster Government's attack on the welfare state. Yeah, You're yeah. perfectly justified in your actions and we support the UCU in your fight for justice in your fight for your deferred wages and in your fight for the pensions you deserve. We're with you all the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.